Hello. So this time, actually, I did record video because some some of you needed a uh, help with uh, importing the solids. And the main question over here is uh, that you want to avoid importing elements from Dynamo to Revit in this way. Uh, when you import elements in this way, you will have as a name some GUID uh, and also for the category, so you cannot actually manipulate with those elements uh, in your project. So we want to see if we have some other ways to import geometry from Dynamo to Revit. And uh, over here I did create some, some sample files, so I have a couple of cable trays which I need for some another video which I will record uh, in the next couple of days. So I did call uh, cable trays uh, and we have nine cable trays over here. I did pick up the first cable tray. We want to convert that element to solid and also we will need later uh, like center point of that solid. Uh, when I import uh, some geometry from Dynamo to Revit, I use one of of uh, two ways which I did show over here. Uh, if you want to have results like we did see uh, previously, so if you just want to import that instance uh, and it doesn't matter that uh, that instance will have some uh, unique uh, name and category, so we can use import instance by geometry and view for uh, the view we did call uh, current document and document active view basically to tell Dynamo that we want to insert that geometry in the active view and what we want to insert let's say that we want to insert some solid and I did create a solid from the cable tray so run okay the script was finished let's see what we have over here so we have nine cable trays and we want we have one element with this category basically and okay we will uh, now select just cable trace and we want to hide them so over here we did import our solid uh, all dimensions are the same like the cable trace that we did have in our view but uh, this element now cannot be manipulated you cannot uh, call Visibility graphics and now you don't have this category so you cannot turn on or turn off visibility uh, And so on and so on and you cannot uh, edit this panel uh, so If you have this kind of elements imported from the dynamo and you cannot work with them Then I will delete this element. I will freeze This node over here Oops. And all of this uh, nodes which you can see over here are the native Dynamo nodes. Uh, I didn't use any nodes from some custom packages. All those nodes you can find in the Revit native library. If you want to have similar results but you don't want to uh, define the view, for example, you can just in the input uh, port just connect your geometries or geometry. So this node is if you have multiple. Uh, solids if you have multiple geometries over here you will connect that single piece uh, and you can even import uh, instance by sat file so this is just variation of this node over here uh, on the other hand if you want to have some name for your uh, family you want to have some material and so on you can use this uh, method so at first you will create a family type and then you will place that family type by some some inputs and uh, usually i use this family instance by point so if we want to create a uh, family in this way now we can feed our node over here so we will took this solid and we will type some some name over here i did type the name of my website you can type whatever you want uh, you need to tell what will be the category uh, for your element and uh, if you want to create provisions for void then uh, maybe you need to, to select generic models 
then you need to tell to Dynamo uh, what uh, family template Dynamo need to use in order to create that family. So over here, I did connect everything to, to the metric mechanical equipment uh, Revit template file. And you need to tell uh, as an input over here uh, what material you want that Dynamo use for your family type. So uh, always you will have in the Revit some default material. If you want to select a different material, if you did create some different material, then you just can copy the name and Dynamo will use, will use that uh, material. So uh, up to here, we will only create family type. So if I run our script, now we did create family type and this is Revit 2023. I did uh, connect over here uh, Revit template from Revit 2021. So uh, that pop-up message did show us that we actually did update that Revit uh, template file. So uh, now we didn't place anything uh, in the Revit. We just did create that element uh, inside the Revit. So and I did say that I want to to create mechanical equipment. So if I create a mechanical equipment, I did create that family type. Now we need to place that family type in our in our project. So uh, all that we need to do is that we uh, choose family type and to select some point or points. And over here we will use this center point. And now if we click run. Of course, you can do all of this with one run of the script. And uh, now the origin point is over here. I did select the central point of the cable tray. So you need to, to have that in mind. Where is the origin point uh, and which point you did uh, use for the placement of that family. And now if you click on, on this family, now this element over here, it's a mechanical equipment. You have the name of the file and you can also edit that family. So, and you have all the uh, parameters related to that category. So it is a different method to place uh, instances in Revit. And of course, over here, uh, if you have a question like, do I need to use only the points as input? You have similar nodes which can insert instances by family type. And you can see the variation of uh, this node over here, down down there. So either you can place the coordinates if you don't, if you didn't create the points or coordinate system or point and level or phase and line, phase location and reference direction. So you have a couple of different ways to place those instances by family type. Uh, and that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.